Converting fractions, decimals, and percents. When you look at a grid of 100, you can see that 28 of these are shaded red. We would say 28 out of 100 are shaded. We would say as a decimal, that is 0.28 or 28 hundredths. And as a percent, you would move your decimal over two places, 28 percent, because percent means a number out of 100. If you have one, two, three, four, five sections, three of which are shaded, you would say you have a fraction of three-fifths. There are two ways to change a fraction to a decimal. Sometimes you can use equivalent fractions. In this case, you can. You could change this to six-tenths or even sixty-hundredths. Then you would write, you could write your decimal as 0.6 or 0.60. Then you would move your decimal two places to the right, and that would be 60%, which makes sense because it's more than half is shaded and 60% would be more than half. Now another way to do that same problem is to recognize that you have three out of five are shaded, but you could divide. Three divided by five, five doesn't go into three, so add your decimal and your zero, bring your decimal up, five goes into 30 six times, subtract so down, and you're done. So your decimal here is 0.6. You still move your decimal over two times to the right and you have 60%. To change a percent to a fraction, remember that percent means a number out of 100. So write, to write a percent as a fraction, write the fraction with a denominator of 100 and simplify. 48% is 48 out of 100. Simplified is 12 over 25. You divide it by 4 the, on the numerator and the denominator. 5% means 5 out of 100. Divide, divide by 5 on both the top and the bottom, and the simplified fraction is 1 50th. 53% means 53 out of 100, and it is, or, and it is already in simplest form, 53 out of 100. 100% 100 would just be 1, so 100 out of 100, and 250% would be 250 over 100. In simplified form would be 2 and 50 hundredths. You can simplify even further, and you get 2 and 1. To change a fraction back to a percent, you have two choices. You can use equivalent fractions, which work a lot of the time, but not all of the time, and you can use division. So let's look at equivalent fractions. In this case, 3 20ths can be changed to 15 hundredths, which gives you 15 percent. 7 50ths could be converted to 14 hundredths, which would be 14 percent. That won't always work, so sometimes you'll need to divide. For example, 3 eighths won't change to 1 hundredths, so you'll have to do 3 divided by 8, your decimal and your zero, and when you work it out, you'll get 0.375. At that point, you will have to move your decimal over two places to the right, and you'll get 37.5%. Some fractions you can reduce first and then change to a percent. One fourth is a memory one. You should know that that's 0.25 and 25%. You could also use equivalent fractions or division if you didn't remember.